Hello guys, it's me, Nikki. Hello everybody. <laughs> I have been traveling and because of the traveling, I've been very missing in action. I've been working on a couple of amazing, incredibly fun projects that will all launch in 2020. And let me tell you, baby, get ready because it's gonna be one hell of a year. But there's a lot of other influencers slash makeup artists that are coming out with their dream, that are coming out with what they so passionately desire, creating their own cosmetics. So while I was away, Tati Westbrook launched her own cosmetics line called Tati Beauty. Tati was kind enough to send me PR of her brand new eyeshadow palette. So I have it right here, it's right here. And um, I know this has been out for a while, but just the fact that people still wanted to see like my interpretation on this palette, what I think of the palette, what kind of look I would create with the palette, it just means so much to me because that's a lot of trust and that's a lot of, just that means so much to me that you guys are patiently waiting for my view on this. That shows me that you really um, value my view on certain products and that is freaking awesome. Thank you so much. So I have the palette right here and this is what it looks like on the, oh my God, this is a party. Woo, am I excited to play with this? I see glitter, I see metallic. Alex. Plus also Jacqueline came out with her brand new highlighters, Patrick Toss coming out with stuff. So today is just me sitting down, trying all these sort of new makeup launches that obviously I missed over the last couple of weeks. And yeah, I just wanna sit down and chat and play with all these new products and tell you exactly what I think of them. So if you're excited for brand new makeup from influencers and from all across the beauty world, then keep on watching. I cannot say how happy I am to sit here. Uh, this is actually just about the third video I'm filming in my brand new place, in my brand new studio, and I'm still not used to where all the stuff is laid out. Like, I need to find my rhythm in this house, and it will take time. Lately, thanks to my mom, I've been into essential oils. I have the Young Living sort of like diffuser, and right now I have Panaway, I have Cinnamon Bark and Energy, and those three are everything together. So like, the studio's smelling nice, I'm feeling good, and now let's feel even better with the cake up with all the makeup. <laughs> okay, rings off, it's about to get dirty in here. All right, everybody, the first product I'm gonna go in with, Symbol System. If you wanna know if something I'm using today is PR or self-bought or an ad, there's no sponsored content in this video, so you won't see the ad one. Just know that the Symbol System will tell you everything you need to know. The first product I'm using is by Morphe, and this is called the Revitalizer Primer. This has an awesome stick to it. So as you guys know, I love having a little stick to my primer because I feel like everything you put on top is gonna act like a magnet. So it's really gonna adhere to the skin. So I'm using that as my primer today. Also, can we take a second for these nails? Oh my God, my nail artist is the best. Foundaciones. Okay, I haven't talked about this foundation online, but in real life, I've been wearing this every single damn day and it has been a blessing. This right here is by Morphe. I know another Morphe product. This is called the Fluidity Full Coverage Foundation. I'm in the color 170. This is full coverage. It has a, a satin satin matte feel, satin matte finish. It looks stunning. Like it is blank canvas chic, baby. Oh, and if you want that real flawless finish, I'm just putting this out there. There's absolutely no need for you to go out and buy this right now, but I see a vast difference when I apply this to my foundation. This one drop of the Frisali Skin Tune Blur, together it's like, oh, blurred out heaven. Mm-hmm, I'm telling you, full coverage, baby. Just take this in. Take this all in. Look at that. Flawless skin in 10 seconds. Just take it in. Look at that. We're a mess. No longer. Also, someone needs to tell me if you have this foundation, how is the wear time for you? Because this is one of the few foundations that has one of the most extreme long wear um, abilities for me. This will last the entire day for me. Um, of course, I powder throughout the day, but it stays on. It's like, oh, you want me to be on your face all day? I'm gonna be there 
all day. For concealer, Marc Jacobs Accomplice will never let me down, okay? I can venture out to other concealers, have a grand all time, but this is something I can always come back to and always have a flawless finish. This is full coverage, but super, super lightweight. It looks very natural on the skin. In a little bit, I'm gonna start working this into the skin, and then right after, I'm gonna set my face. The under eyes is gonna be Anastasia Beverly Hills, loose setting powder in vanilla. And for the rest of the face, I'm using this. Ever since my Jojo Siwa video, this has been what I've been using to set my face. This is the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder in number one. Now after all of this product, all of this concealer foundation, and especially all of that powder, you tend to look a little flat and lifeless. And Jaclyn Hill came out with this right here. This is called the Luminous Powder in the color Do Me. Okay, Jacqueline. And this is a very soft, illuminating, loose powder to bring back some life to the face if you are a full coverage addict like I am. I've been using this. I've been really, really liking it. You only need a tiny little bit and it truly gives you that glow from within, that sort of radiance look. So I pick up just a tiny bit from the lid and I just bring back some of that life, lifelike shine on the forehead and then I also do like right here underneath the eye onto the cheek and then a tiny little bit on the chin and I know on camera you probably won't even see it but in real life it just takes that finish from flat and lifeless to dimension. All right, I'm gonna do brows off camera real quick. If you want an updated video, it is up on my channel right now. Uh, click somewhere in the screen if you wanna see it and I'll be right back. All right, now it's finally time to dip into the Tati Beauty Volume One eyeshadow palette. And I think that is the name. That is, that's the name. Look at that. Ooh, look at that, isn't that fun? So what I'm seeing is very interesting and I've never seen this before. It works in rows. So she has different finishes in the same sort of color family and then every color family has its name. So we have Memory, which is like the, the silvers and the grays. We have Ritual, Story, Soothe, Aura, and Poet. And then we have a matte finish, sequin finish, metallic, and Glitter. Now, when I look at the palette, of course, my eye immediately goes to the glitters because, hi, I'm a glitter whore. But the sequins are really exciting too, especially this shade here. Do you see that one? Ooh. So I don't necessarily have a look in mind. I just want to sort of take a ride with this palette and see where we end up. I think the first step, as always, is to prime, because not to prime is a crime. For primer, as always, I'm using my P. Louise Base in 0.5. Okay, I think the first color I wanna dip into is a matte, and I'm going in with the color Soothe. So this right here, Soothe. And I want Soothe to be the transition color, so that's gonna like hug the edges. So I'm just stamping it onto my eyes, onto the skin, onto the base. All right, so it's showing up true to color. So what I'm seeing in the pan is translating onto the skin. It's not showing up extremely darker, or lighter or like a different tone. So that's good. It's a soft pigment, meaning that they pack a punch when you really concentrate them, but there's room to build. These feel very soft, like very soft, lightweight texture, just doing its thing. Not that anyone cares, but I also wanna mention that there's little to no fallout in the pan. This is something that in previous launches with makeup brands has been a great deal breaker or maker. All right, so far so good. This is this is off to a great start. Now to blend out the edge of this, I wanna make a mixture between Soothe and Aura to create a lighter shade. I'm really intrigued by the sequin shade of Memory, this right here. So I kind of want that on the lid and then blend it into that brown in the crease. Okay, this color definitely has fallout in the pan. And I'm interested to see the finish on the eye because in the pan it's like a matte with like loose sparkles in it. 
and on the eye, it is a matte with sparkles in it. Oh my God, oh, this turned really smoky. Oh, okay, you gotta be super cautious with this one because one wrong flick of the wrist, and you got fallout all over your face. All right, the end destination of this look completely changed about 10 seconds ago. So let's make this work and twerk. I feel like the more you touch it, the sparkles kind of disappear but they're there. All right, now with this brush, this is the Morphe and Jeffree Star JS12. I'm picking up the tiniest bit of that color, just the tiniest bit. And really carefully, we're gonna buff out that harsh edge. Be careful, take your time. This color may give me a little bit of stress right now, but I know it's gonna be so worth it in the end because nothing is sexier than a deep black smoky eye. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so the more you blend it, the sparkles disappear. So if you want the sparkle of the shadow, really pack it on with the flat brush and don't touch it. And as soon as you start really working it in, the sparkles have left the city. All right, on the center of the lid, this one right here. Um, so that's uh, Memory Metallic. We're just gonna pack this. Where is she? And patting it on flat against the skin. Ooh, I wish that had more pigment. I thought the metallic shade was gonna be like beaming from the eyeballs. It's, it was gonna be like laser beams. Um, but it's not really laying down. I am pulling a Simply Neological. I'm gonna take one of these, one of the old school eyeshadow applicators with the little sponge. This is the one trick that will make anything work. If this doesn't work, it's the shadow. So picking up that shade and then popping it onto, see? Oh my God, Christine, a legend with knowledge. This will really pick up that shade and put it down. So. If you want that metallic shade to really go on, just grab one of these. Well, since we're here, since we landed in this very extremeness of a smoky eye, I really like the color of Aura in the glitter. It's like, oh, it's so unique, I love it. So I wanna pop that on the center of the lid. I'm thinking fingers is the way to go here. Oh my God. Ooh, that is sparkly. Oh my God, that is fun. Oh, that is a lot of fun, Tati. 10 out of 10 would not apply that with a brush. That would literally end up everywhere because even with my finger, it's kind of ending up everywhere. Um, so I'm gonna dust away some of the fallout on my cheek. Oh, that is nice. All right, then for the lower lash line, let's take this smokiness to the next level because we're already, we're, we're already there. I'm going in with Ritual and then the matte, the dark brown, and then smoking that out using Poet. About to get vampy up in here. It'll be lonely this Christmas without smoky eyes, my dear. Oh, she's strong. Oh my God, the mats are popping. And we're gonna smoke down using that. See, that packs a punch too. The mats are incredible. They're very soft, but like, they're vicious. All right, well that's sort of it. I'm gonna pop a lash on and I'll be right back. And also do the other eye. And this is the finished eye look using the Tati Beauty Volume One palette. I think overall it's a very, very fun palette. I love the color story. I love the way she went about using like the different textures and different rows, but that metallic broke my heart a little bit. Even though Tati is a fellow YouTuber, I always bring my truth and tell you exactly what goes through my mind as I'm applying these products. And that is what happened in my mind during the metallic. So I'm just putting it out there. Should the metallic prevent you from buying this palette? Absolutely not, because this is a banger. I also added that extra bit of drama by popping a couple of lower lashes on the center. And now my goth fantasy is complete. Time to bronze. For bronzer, I'm using one of my staples, Private Island by Fenty Beauty. I'm liking these eyes. They're giving me sort of like goth doll vibes. Like, yeah, put me in a pastel little dress and I'll take it. Also, let's not forget that entire region up here that we call Ten Head Valley. For blush, Patrick Ta recently launched brand new blushes and I have two colors right here. This one is She's Sincere and the other one I have is She's 
seductive. So I really like making a mixture between these two and kind of sculpt blush with it. So the blush today really is coming from the sides of the face sweeping forward, but mostly focusing like right here to like sculpt. So right here on the side, start sweeping that in and then meet up about where the eye is in the center of the face. Keep it there. Then for highlighter, I've been dying to try this. Jaclyn Hill recently came out with her entire collection of highlighters. I have one highlighter palette right here. This is called The Flash. Some beautiful golden peachy tones for light skin tones. She also came out with this. And I've been seeing a lot going around about this. This right here is a loose highlighter. Again, wasn't the other one loose highlighter too? And this one is in the color Extra. And you know what? I've been dying to try extra, so I'm gonna put this to the side for a little bit and go straight in with that crazy one. She also came out with brushes, and I have tried this one before. It's bomb. It is very sturdy and packed, which at first made me a little scared because I was like, oh boy, that's gonna scratch off all my base products. But it, it just, it, oh my God, it's like the perfect companion to a blinding, beaming highlight. All right, extra, picking up a little bit. All right, here we go. <gasps> Oh my God. Okay, wait, hold on. Oh my, oh my, what is happening? Holy guacamole on a cracker and some salsa on the side. What is going on? That is very extreme. <laughs> All right, hold on. I'm taking my blush brush and kind of blending in the edges to make it one seamless piece of art. Oh, that is nice. I mean, it's a lot, but it's nice. Oh my God, Mrs. Jacqueline. Holy crap. Holy crap. And right here, Bridget. Oh my God, that is sending signals to the moon. Okay, for lips, back to Patrick Ta. He also came out with lip pencils. Really excited about that. Oh. All right, lovely. And then I'm hopping over to the lightest shade called She's Humble and filling in the rest of the lip. And we're going for a matte nude situation today. Oh, it's not even that much lighter than the previous color. It's just more colorful. That works too. All right, setting spray and we done. And that, guys, is the look I created with all the new launches from all the YouTubers and famous makeup artists lately. And I must say that I'm loving the outcome. It is a lot more dark, grungy, and gothy than I first expected, but I am loving this end destination. Like, oh my God, let's party. I'm, I'm ready for a party. It's one in the afternoon and I'm ready for a party. I think Tati's palette is absolutely stunning. I think some of the metallic shades need a little bit of work. And with the sequin shade, there tends to be a lot of fallout in the pan. I know a lot of people don't care about that, but I have to put it out there. Other than that, I think it's a stunning, essential palette that you can get a lot of use out of. And congratulations, Tati, on this amazing first launch. I think the highlighters I tried by Jaclyn are a lot of fun too. I like the first one I used to bring back that life and that skin-like feel when it comes to a full coverage beat. And that extra highlighter is more than extra. It is a lot to handle, but if you're all about that extreme highlighting life, I think you need to give it a go. Ah, the makeup industry is always in the fast lane and every single day there's new launches and I'm here to bring you what I exactly think of them. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun trying all of this out and showing you exactly what I would do with it. And uh, yeah, without any further ado, let's go on to today's Dutch word of the day. If you've been eyeing my earring this entire video, you can see that it is a cuff, like a cuff, handcuffs, handcuffs. So today's Dutch word of the day is for handcuffs. Handboeien. Hand, boei, un. I'm wearing some pretty awesome handboeien on my ears. <laughs> As always, if you want to get featured in my next video featuring the Dutch word of the day, all you have to do is comment the Dutch word of the day down below in the comments. And who knows, you might see your face pop up in the next one. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and hopefully I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.